we spent four days exploring the Grindelwald region of the Swiss Alps. From the incredible views at Jungfraujagd top of Europe, to hiking the Eiger Trail and tackling amazing adventures on Grindelwald Fierce. These are the best things to do in Grindelwald that are not to be missed. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and make sure to click on that bell for updates whenever we post a new travel video. Welcome to Jungfrau! Located in the heart of the Swiss Alps, Jungfrau Jock is reached by Europe's highest train station. We caught a gondola from Grindelwald Terminal before transferring to the historic train that took us up to Jungfrau Jock, top of Europe. Look at this! Heading up at the Eiger Express here. It's brand new. It's the best gondola, most modern gondola in the world. Going up to Jungfrau Jak is an adventure unto itself. Hop aboard the most modern tri-cable gondola in the world. The Eiger Express offers spectacular views of the Eiger and surrounding mountains as you ride for 15 minutes to the Eiger station where you'll transfer to the highest railway in Europe. This mountain behind me, we are actually going to go into. They've tunneled in and we're taking a train through the mountain for seven kilometers. This is incredible. The journey from Eiger station takes a historic cogwheel train for 26 minutes up the mountain through the Eiger and Monk mountain peaks. There is a five minute scenic stop during the trip to view the Aletsch Glacier before continuing on to Jungfraujak. We're going in the fastest elevator in Switzerland right now, six meters per second. Woo. Our high speed elevator whisked us up 100 meters to the Sphinx Terrace for panoramic views of the area. I'm at the top of Europe, woohoo! <laughs> it truly is like a dream being up here. We have Jungfrau, the world famous peak right behind me. We're at the top of Europe at 3,454 meters, everybody. And it is the most incredible view of all these glaciers surrounding us with the high mountain peaks. We have the Lech Glacier on one side and the Eiger Glacier on the other. And you will, you really, if you do come to this area, you have to make sure that you get up to the top of Europe. It's truly incredible. The Sphinx Terrace was our first stop outside and it offers complete 360 degree views of the UNESCO World Heritage Site. You can spend as long as you like outside taking in the views that reach as far as Germany and Italy. Well, coming up here to Jungfrau is truly a once in a lifetime experience. If you find yourself in Grindelwald, make sure you come up to the top of Europe. Look at that. A visit to Jungfrau Jak is more than just going to a scenic lookout. It is an interactive experience filled with multimedia displays and exhibits. Hop aboard the moving sidewalk to see how the Jungfrau Railway was built. You'll see displays dedicated to designer Adolf Geyer Zeller and those who tackled this incredible feat of engineering. It's worth spending some time here before you enter the incredible Ice Palace. Time for the Ice Palace. This is so incredible. We are 25 meters under the glacier and they chipped through here to make it feel like what it would be like if you were under the ice. This is so cool, I did not expect this. The Ice Palace is a glacier tunnel that was dug in the 1930s. Covering 1,000 square meters under the Aletsch Glacier, this series of tunnels and corridors take you through a fairy tale maze of displays where ice sculptures line the hallways. Next, what can I get you at the ice bar? Look at this, it's all ice around me. The final stop is Glacier Plateau, where you walk on the snow outside, surrounded by mountains and glaciers. And then you come out and you walk on the snow for these spectacular panoramic views 
of the mountains. There's so much to do, you need an entire morning. Well, this is it, I have the flag, I'm at the top of Europe. And I didn't even have to climb here, I just took an elevator. Yeah! <laughs> All right, we're right at the start of the Eiger Trail here, where we're heading down to El Pigland. It's gonna be beautiful views, what a day. This is incredible. This is just the start of the hike. It only gets better from here. So this is a really famous hike that we're doing here, the Eiger Trail. It's about two, and a, two to two and a half hours to walk down. Uh, if you're Dave and I, it'll probably be three because we stop a lot for photography and to show you the beautiful views. But it's great because you take the gondola up and then you can walk down. It's just mostly downhill with a few uphills. So it's a perfect way to get a hike in the Alps without really overexerting yourselves. <laughs> Holy cow. The views around here, every time you turn your head, it's another more spectacular scene. What a view. We have the glacier behind me, the gondola going, the wildflowers, and the rock face. I couldn't ask for more. Wow. Well, that was amazing. We just hiked the Eiger Trail from the top down to the bottom, and it is just one of the best hikes I've ever done. And if you come here to Switzerland, you gotta make sure you do at least the Eiger Trail while you're here. One of the best things to do in Grindelwald is to spend some time exploring Grindelwald first. We're going to take you on a hike to Back Alpsy, get your heart pounding on the first flyer, take a walk in the clouds on the first cliff walk, and go speeding down the mountains on a trotty bike. The Grindelwald Fairs Gondola is a 25 minute ride from Fairs Station in downtown Grindelwald. It costs 32 Swiss francs when using your Swiss travel pass for 50% off and includes your return ticket. Many people come up for only one day, but there is accommodation at Burgess House first with full amenities. The scenery up here is amazing. I really highly recommend staying up here uh, because it gives you an opportunity to experience it without a lot of people around. Something you have to do when you come here to Grindelwald. All right, the clouds are coming in and out. So uh, before the clouds come back, I'm going on the cliff walk because I think I'll be freaked out on here if the clouds come in. Take a look. You ready, Dave? I'm ready, off the, the first cliff walk here. It's a bit foggy. The first cliff walk by Tiso is free to enter and you can walk it as many times as you like. The walk starts along a metal walkway clinging to the side of the cliff and extends out 45 meters over the void. All right, we are walking along the cliff walk. The clouds have come in, so it's a little spooky. And this is what you normally see here. The Eiger North Face. It's somewhere right there. <laughs> it is a little bit freakier actually not seeing what's all around you. You kind of feel like you're walking in the clouds. This is fantastic. While we were here, the clouds just opened up. So now we can look down and see it. Whoa. What a view. <laughs> on your way down from first bond you can actually do the glider and the flyer down and then you can hop on the go-karts and then do the trotty bikes you could choose as many as you like 99 swiss francs covers all four or you can do only one or two starting at 50 francs Okay, we're about to get on the first flyer. Maximum speed is 84 kilometers, so we're gonna be booting it down the hill here in the Swiss Alps. Woo! Here we 
go? I'm in Switzerland, just <laughs> we're flying down the Alps. It's pretty awesome. Excuse me, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you ready? Okay, so. Okay, have fun. Okay. Two, Woo! One, Woo! Go. Woo! Grindelwald Fierst is certainly one of the most beautiful places on earth to go ziplining. Awesome. It was like 84 kilometers an hour. I actually now I know what it's like to go 84 kilometers an hour in a first flyer. Awesome. It's downhill on the trotty bike here in Grindelwald. From the Fierce Glider, you can either take the mountain cart down to the trotty bikes at Bort Station or you can hop back on the gondola. We recommend doing the mountain cart as the views from the higher levels are amazing. From Bort Station, it's then all the way down to Grindelwald on the trotty bikes. We're on the trotty bikes! The trotty bike is a downhill scooter ride that is fun for the whole family as you can go as fast or as slow as you like as you take in the gorgeous views of the Jungfrau region and surrounding mountains. The path takes you on less frequented roads so you don't have to worry about too much traffic or pedestrians and it goes all the way down to the village. It was heaven coming down. This is the way to come down the mountain on one of these trotty bikes. It's fantastic downhill all the way. Our next Grindelwald Fierce adventure takes us back up the mountain to one of Switzerland's most recognizable viewpoints. We are starting our walk from first to Bach Alpsi and it looks like the skies are starting to clear. It's going to be a beautiful day. Even if it's not, it's so ominous with the clouds and mist. Absolutely beautiful. Take a look. The hike to Bakelpsi takes about one hour and is one of the most popular hikes in Switzerland. It takes you out to an alpine lake with striking views of the Schreckhorn Mountain reflecting in the water. We didn't have the best weather while hiking out on this trip, but luckily we had visited before and caught a glimpse of what makes this hike so attractive. When you come to Grindelwald, you want to make sure that you do several hikes and spend a few days because each hike is different and offers different views of the mountains. Each day is different because the weather comes in because you're high at higher altitudes. And it's really special to get these different kind of climates that are coming in and out of the region. Wow, the sun finally came out. How spectacular is that? Pretty spectacular. We are heading into the Glacier Walk here in Grindelwald. I hear it's supposed to be a lot of fun. It's huge! Glacier Canyon is one of the coolest attractions in Grindelwald, Switzerland. The canyon is located just a five minute drive from downtown Grindelwald and you can easily catch bus 122 from the town center. Let's go into the gorge! Take a walk along an 870 meter long series of bridges, tunnels, walkways and rocky outcrops as the Lucina River roars through the 250 million year old canyon. Weaving through the 300 meter high cliffs makes for an amazing afternoon in Grindelwald. beautiful canyon the water is rushing through the gorge it's just to see the power that this mother nature has to cut through this canyon over the centuries is incredible you can go on a little trampoline that goes right out over the gorge it's a whole lot of fun here i go 
A highlight of the Grindelwald Glacier Gorge is the 170 square meter spider web spanning across the rushing water. You get to stand right over the river and it's so cool. And if you're really, really in the mood for adventure, you're gonna wanna do the canyon swing. If you've always wanted to do a bungee jump, take a leap off the 90 meter high platform to plunge into the canyon at 120 kilometers per hour in a wild free fall before swinging back and forth over the Lucina River. They've just carved everything out along here and done an amazing job. You can just hear the power here through the entire walk. Let's go. The next on our list of things to do in Grindelwald is to hop on the train to Grindelwald Terminal and take the Manlikan gondola up the mountain to hike down to Klein Scheidegg. Make sure to keep an eye out for the cute marmots that frequent this area. We are doing the Manlikan hike here in Switzerland in Grindelwald and it's absolutely extraordinary. You can hear the cowbells all around you. We have views of all of the mountains just awesome and most of it's downhill so it's nice and easy too. The Manlikan hike is an easy mostly downhill hike that is one of the most popular walks in Grindelwald. It's five kilometers long and takes about 90 minutes. So this is definitely one of the more popular hikes here in Grindelwald and with good reason. It's not too, you don't have to go up too much, you don't have to go down too much. It's just a pleasant walk with extraordinary views. Where else do you get to go in the world where you don't have to work too hard for these views? We're used to having to go way into the back country to get something like this. Here in Grindelwald, it's all around you. It's like hiking through a painting. Every hike in Grindelwald is postcard perfect and the Manlikan Klein Scheldeg hike is no exception with constant views of the Eiger, Monk and Jungfrau mountains. Hear the cows just all around me. I just love hiking in Switzerland because not only do you have the incredible mountain views and all these incredible vistas, you have the cutest little cows just surrounding you and they're so curious. They'll always just stop and look at you. I love it. So I don't think it gets any more Swiss than this. We came up here upon a whole bunch of Swiss cows. How amazing is this? The backdrop combined with these beautiful animals. Come on, this is so Swiss. Grindelwald is famous for the photogenic cows that hang out on the mountains in the summer months. When hiking the trails, listen for cowbows echoing through the valley, and you just may come across a herd basking in the sun. During the summer months, you can find them all over the hiking trails. They are friendly and approachable. In fact, they may want you to scratch their ears or clear the flies off their face. The cows here are up here for three months of the year during the summer and they go in twice a day to be milked because they still make the cheese while they're up here but they're just sent out to pasture enjoying the high life. What a spectacular scene. You got cows, the eiger and beautiful weather. All right, we're on our way to the top of Interlaken at Harder Tomb. It's supposed to have an amazing view. We hopped on the Jungfrau Railway from Grindelwald to catch the Harder Railway funicular to the top of Interlaken. There is a viewing platform where you can see the Eiger, Monk and Jungfrau Mountains and the two lakes. The Panorama Restaurant is an excellent place to grab a Swiss meal as you take in the views. 
We're at Harder Coombe at the top of Interlochen with a beautiful view and fondue. I love fondue. Grindelwald is a great Four Seasons destination right here in the mountains in Switzerland. We stayed at the Schweizerhof Hotel, which is the romantic hotel, and it's a great location located just down the street from the train station and walking distance to everywhere. It has a fantastic spa so you can rest those aching muscles after you've done all of your hiking in the mountains. And we did the half room board, which is where we had a full breakfast buffet and we had our dinner. I think it's one of the first hotels in the region dating back to the 1800s and I can understand why. Look at its location. I don't think you have a better view in town. This is a fantastic place to stay and uh, if you come to Switzerland definitely add Grindelwald to the list. It has all those spectacular scenes that you've seen from the mountains. And these are the best things to do in Grindelwald, Switzerland. You can read our entire itinerary on our blog in the links below. And if you want to subscribe, make sure to click on that subscribe button and ring the bell because we put up new travel videos each week. See you next time.